Good evening, Lily. Good evening, Lily. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Good. Ask me, how about you, teacher? How are you? How about you, teacher? Uh, something strange is going on, Lily. I I cannot stop sneezing. I have sneezed about 20 times. Did you did you ever start sneezing and then you cannot stop? Yes. How many times did you sneeze? More than 20? More than 20? 30? May 25? So how did you stop yourself from sneezing? How did you stop it? Mm. I'm trying to figure out what that is that you are eating. It looked like jelly because it was quite stretchy. Or maybe it's the, the Korean rice cake. Mm -hmm. Oh good. <clears throat> what flavor is that one? I don't know. Original flavor? Maybe. Alright, good. <clears throat> Lily, how has your week been? Has anything interesting been happening at school? <laughs> what happened? Lily, is that a cast on your leg? Yes. When did you get a cast on your leg? Yesterday. Oh no, Lily, what happened? Was it from ballet? No. The doctor said we don't know. And I colored it. Yeah, you know, when I was your age, I also had a cast. I broke my leg. And then I, I had a cast on my leg and every, all my friends signed my cast. <laughs> you already colored it. So, when you today you didn't go to school, right? Mm -hmm. So, are you going to school next week? Yes. Do you have the crutches to be able to walk? Mm -hmm, but I Say again? I can't walk in... I can walk. You can walk on, on the cast? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that safe? Did the doctor say you can? <laughs> it's at home, but I don't move a lot. And then I have a new... <clears throat> a new something. I didn't hear what that new thing was. A new what? New hobby. New yeah. <laughs> Is that knitting? Uh, Are you knitting? Oh yes. So you picked up this hobby from from where? No, I didn't pick. I do. It's like uh, not hobby because I do at school, but I made this much from yesterday to from today. That's very cool. What are you making? A scarf. I don't know what I'm making. So how long did this take you to make that much material? This? Yeah. One day of... Yesterday from today. Yesterday and today. That's really cool. I have no idea how to sew, how to knit. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Lily, you have that interesting class. Uh, have you been recently to your ceramics class? The pottery? No. You didn't go there. Because the teacher changed. Ah, I see. Okay, so you haven't been making ceramics. But this is cool. This is a new, a new interesting skill that you will get. Once you are able to knit, what will you want to knit for yourself or for your mom or for someone? 
once you have the skill and you are ready to make a jersey, make a scarf, make a beanie for winter time. What? Blanket. A yeah, blanket. That's a good idea. Yeah. Nice. All right. Good. <clears throat> Lily, in today's class, I want to ask you about chess. Do you know how to play chess? Hmm? Yes. So, on a scale from 1 to 10, if 1 is bad and 10 is really good, where are you on the scale of 1 to 10? 5. Okay, good. Me too. So, maybe we can have a nice game together. How about that? Okay. Who do you usually play against? Do you play against your mom? Do you have a chess board at your house, at home? I don't know where is it, but you, I have it. You have it, but you don't know where it is. Okay, and then maybe at school. Do you play at school? Sometimes at break time? Yes, sometimes. Okay, so you have a chess board at, at school. Mm -hmm. So that means you are playing chess in English, right? Yes. Okay, good. So you... That's exactly what I wanted to check. So we can do it very fast to check the names and how each piece moves. And then we can play the game. So I want to play the game with you in the second half of the class, which gives us more time. 30 minutes. So right now, okay. let's quickly check the understanding of the game. <clears throat> I think we can do this fast. <laughs> Lily, what's the name of this piece? Rook. Nice. How does the rook move? Only... Okay. We will practice the English. Your, your signs are good. Yes. Your, <laughs> that is correct. Okay. Can you read for me? My rook will? My rook will take your queen. Okay. What is this piece? Horse. It's a, it looks like a horse. It's a knight. Ah, oh, okay. okay. How does the knight move, Lily? Only an L. L shape. Perfect. And this is the only piece that can jump over other pieces. Yeah. Can you read for me, my knight? <clears throat> my knight will take a rook. Okay, when... When you are ready to attack... What do we say? We say, I will take your piece. I will take it. My rook will take your queen. My knight will take your bishop. My knight will take your queen. Okay, what is the name of this piece? Bishop. The bishop. <clears throat> the bishop cannot... The bishop cannot jump over pieces, but only the knight can jump over other pieces. Here we have the queen. queen. How does the queen move? Everywhere. Everywhere. We forgot about the bishop. How does the bishop move? Diagonally. Nice word. Lily, you are using all the words that I'm looking for. Okay, you said the queen can move everywhere, but... Can the queen move the same as the knight? No. Okay. So that means the queen can move same as the rook and bishop. I think... I think the most powerful piece on the chessboard is queen. Do you agree with that statement? Yes. King. What is special about the king? Or what is unfortunate about the king? He can only move one... Space. One space. Yeah. At a time. At a time. We will win the chess game if... We will win the chess game if we take the other player's king. 
So what do we call that when we are ready to take the other player's king? We say check. Check. And when the king cannot move anywhere else, we say checkmate. 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 All right. Lily, the final piece of the board? <laughs> it is the pawn. All right. How does the pawn move? At the first, we can move two space forward, and when there's another piece on diagonally, we can move diagonally only at that time. Only at that time. When we want to take another piece, then we can move diagonally with the pawn. Right. If a pawn reaches... If the pawn reaches the opposite side of the board, it can change to a queen. Isn't that amazing? If you are, if you have two queens on the board, you are at an advantage, big advantage. But, but I learned that we can take anything we want. Oh, really? Not just the queen. Yes, so, like bishop, pawn. So if I want a, if I want another king, I can get the king? No. <laughs> I think I don't know. I think no. If you get another king, then you have two chances. You they can take your one. Yeah, but the game is already over. And the game is long. Game is very long. Sometimes about 1 hour. All right, next word. Here is direction. North, east, south, west. Which direction? Can you read for me? Can you? Can you help me please point me at, in the direction of the post office? Okay, so where is the post office? Lily, here is a picture what word do you think this picture is representing you can see four pieces are in protect? front protect yes what's another word for protect pretext defend defend they are defending the queen so in soccer in sports you need to defend the other players will the other players will defend you so you can run a score and score a goal. Okay, let's quickly review. Uh, Lily, would you like to do the first one or shall I do the first one? Okay, I'll do the first one. Okay. Found in the corners of start of ch starting chessboard. What's that? The corner of the chessboard. Which pieces go in the yeah. corner? Pawn. So the pawn is the front row. It is the one the that... The bishop. It is the rook. Hmm? The rook is in the corner. Is it? Lily, let me show you a picture of a chessboard. And you can see the rook is in the corner. Do you see in the four corners? Which piece is in the corner? Rook. Can you say for me, the rook is in the four corners. The rook is at the horn? The rook is in the four corners. The rook is in the four corners. All right, good. A chess piece that looks like a horse. That is a knight. A chess piece related to the church.
related to the church. Lily, a bishop is from the church. This is a bishop. Oh. It's a high-ranking official at the Catholic Church. So, let's try one more time. A chess piece related to the church. It's bishop. Okay. A powerful female is a queen. Chess is over once this piece is captured. King. The front row of a player's chess pieces, that is the pawns. A path along which someone moves. Direction. Protect from danger. Defend. To remove another player's chest piece from the board. Take. All right. <clears throat> Lily, let's quickly see how to describe the movement. There is the rook. How can the rook move? Can you read at the bottom? The rook can move? The rook can move forward, backward, left and right. How can the knight move? The knight can move in, move in L shape. In an L shape. And don't forget the an L shape. In, in an L shape. How can the bishop move? A bishop can move diagonally. How can the queen move? The queen can move forward, backward, left, right, and diagonally. How can the king move? The king can move in any direction, but the king can only move on one space. How about the pawn? Pawn can move forward and it can attack diagonally. All right, Lily, <clears throat> we are doing this at a good speed. So now I want to show you this student, a young seven-year-old boy who is really good at chess. Here he is. Let's read the title of this article. Can you read for me, eight-year-old boy? Eight-year-old becomes the youngest player to beat a chess grandmaster. I found amazing. An eight-year-old is beating a grandmaster. Lily, have you ever gone to a, a club, a, a chess club or a chess competition? No. No. You only play chess for fun in the classroom. Yes. All right. So this young boy, why do you think he felt amazing? Because he played against the grandmaster. He played against the grandmaster and that is a very high level. So to beat a high level feels very good. But he is so young. To be so young and so good at chess, that is very intelligent. All right, Lily, I want to, this is an interesting article that I found. You were telling me about your science class. You were telling me yes. the respiratory system. Do you remember? Yes. Now, in the respiratory system, is there a windpipe? Yes. What is that windpipe? Mm -hmm. What, what windpipe? What is the function of the windpipe? What does the windpipe do? The windpipe... I remember you had right. a... Where is your notebook? You had a notebook with your science notes. I didn't bring it, I think. <laughs> where, the, where did you leave it? The respirator... I mean, the windpipe brings down the air to the... What? 
to the lungs, I think. To the air sex? Mm -hmm. No, air tube. I to think. the air tube. No. I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, you will remember it when you see it in your notes. Where are your notes? At school. Ah, I okay, think. okay. So next time you see your notes, you can check them. It's okay to forget things, but you have them written down so you can go and find it easily because you know where you wrote it. Okay, but look how amazing this is. In Korea, they 3D printed a windpipe. And they, they inserted it into a person and it started working. It was in Seoul. They, uh, I want to show you here. Let me see if I can find it. What? So the transplant procedure was performed at St. Mary's Hospital in Seoul. Do, huh? you, do you know this hospital? Uh, I don't. Let's check. Let's check. Let's see where St. Saint Saint Mary's. St. St. Mary. Yeah, St. Mary's Hospital in Seoul. Mary. In Seoul. Wait, I have to type. Two, one. Oh, Lily? There are. Here yes. I found it. It is it is huh? on the north There is in Korea there is in Gwangju Gangyeok there's in is... North Korea? No no this is in Seoul. This is in Seoul. Can you see here? Eunpyeong. Eunpyeong Saint Mary's Hospital. It is the north the northern side of Seoul. So can you tell me what happened at this hospital? What did they do there? What procedure did they do? That's Catholic. So the Catholic University of Lily, what happened at this Wait. hospital? I think I saw Can you say for me? They 3D they printed a, a windpipe. They printed 3D windpipe. The data is that some Eunpyeong, that thing is in Gwangju too. Oh, this hospital is in Gwangju too? Yes, I think. How, how did you find, did you find it on Naver? No, Google. I typed Gwangju there. Oh. Tell me, what did you type? I will type the same thing. St. Mary uh, Hospital Gwangju. St. Mary in Gwangju. In Gwangju. Maybe it's a famous brand of hospitals. I don't know. Okay. Where did you click after that? Maps? After that... It just says there. List of hospitals in South Korea? No. Just there. <laughs> All right, Lily. Let's see our last article for today. It's a little bit of a smart idea. In France, they have cemetery they have cemeteries with big open space. Lily, what is a, what is a cemetery? I don't know. A cemetery is where people are buried. When people die, they yes. are buried underground in the cemetery. Yeah. Now, in France, they decided to build something at the cemetery. What did they build here? Uh... Don't. This solar is, panel, this, I think. Well, they used the solar panels and they made shade. Shade for the 
cemetery. Why so, do they need a uh, shade? Good question. Why do they? Can you say for me? Why do they need shade at the cemetery? Why do they need a shade in the cemetery? Not a shade. Let's remove a. Why do they need shade at the cemetery? Why do they need shade at cemetery? At the cemetery. Because, Lily, many people go to visit their loved ones. They go to visit people that have passed away. Visit their grandparents. Visit relatives that are buried at the cemetery. And they bring flowers. And because people are visiting, it's nice to have shade. If it's too hot, the people will be uncomfortable. So two good, re two good things about this. Number one, there is shade for the visitors. And number two, it's solar panels. So it generates electricity. Yes. All right. So Lily, quickly tell me what are the two reasons France has a good idea? Because they can have a shade and they can, they are using solar panels. Where? Uh, France. Mm, in, in which area? Which area had lots of open space? Cemetery. At the cemetery. Lily, what are you doing this weekend? I can't do anything. Oh yeah. No. Your, your leg. <laughs> yeah. So you will stay in your house and you will rest. How long is the cast on your leg for? Three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> is this your first time you have a cast? Yes. I had a cast one time when I was your age on my leg. All right, Lily, let's take a quick break and then um, I will see you after 30 minutes, okay? Okay. So ah. th that means at... 10 o'clock. I will see you at 10, Lily. Can you say for me, see you at 10 o'clock? See you at 10 o'clock. Bye, Lily.